your WordPress site's layout and look, things like the font size and color and more, are controlled by a file named style.css. Let's go to our WordPress dashboard, which of course is located at your domain name forward slash WP admin, and you log into that using the username and password that you created when you installed WordPress. But anyway, we are at the dashboard. Let's hover over appearance and click on, well, I'm clicking on theme editor because I installed a plugin called WP Editor. Well, actually, I'll show you that right now. If you're going to be editing your style.css, of course, in your child theme, but in your WP Admin dashboard, it's a nice plugin to have. WP Editor. You'll have to hover over appearance and then click on editor. I'm clicking on theme editor. It'll take us to basically the same place. And make sure you have 2012 if that's the theme you're using. That's the theme you're editing. But here's the style.css file right here. See, it has all sorts of uh, styles in here that control the look and the layout, controls the font and the line height and everything. So this is where you'll need to make changes if you want to make changes to the look and layout of your site. But it's not a good idea to make those changes in your main themes site files because you can lose all those changes when you update your theme for instance. In this video we're going to be adding a child theme to our site files. That will let us make changes to our site without worrying about losing our changes when we update our theme and that sort of thing. Creating a child theme is a very simple process but just follow the steps that I'll demonstrate for you and you'll have your child theme up and ready for your site's customizations. And it's actually better to start off with the child theme at the beginning of making your WordPress website, but if your site's already underway, that's okay. We can deal with it. First of all, you will need a text editor. If you don't have one installed, here's what I use. It's called Notepad++, and this is the text editor that I use. And it, it really works well, so if you don't have a good one installed, um, might want to check Notepad++ out. So let's go to the WordPress.org codex, and this is the URL that we'll need to go to. I'll put this uh, URL in our my video description. And this page basically explains it all, why you need a child theme, and all the steps you need to create a child theme. But I'm going to walk you through these steps in this video. All right, so the first thing we need to do when we create our child theme is create a directory or a folder, same thing. We create a directory or folder in your themes directory to hold the child theme. And the themes directory is wp-content slash theme. So the way to get to that is to go to your cPanel. And if you don't remember how to get to your cPanel, remember the email you received from HostGator. Here is your control panel link. You can just click on that and then you have to log in with your username and your password. Now you can also get to your cPanel by typing in your domain name forward slash cPanel. Once you're at your cPanel, you want to find the file manager link, which is the third section down under files, and just click on file manager and we are going to open up the web root or the public HTML so I'll click on go now here is the WP content we'll want to double click on that to open that up and then under themes right here we'll double click on that also now we are going to add a new folder but let's go back to our wordpress.org first of all to make sure we're doing it correctly if you're making a child of the 2013 theme you would be called 2013 so make it very simple just put your theme name in lowercase and then a slash and then child I actually had someone that was uh, had trouble with their child theme and the only trouble the only thing they did wrong was they named their child theme folder they had some other name besides this so it messed things up somehow so let's go back over here to our cPanel and we'll click up here on the left we'll click on new folder to add a create a new folder and we're going to call it just what wordpress.org recommends 2012 slash 
child and then we'll click on create new folder okay let's go back to wordpress.org now we'll need to create a file called style.css and this is the only file required to make a child theme and we need to paste all this into our new uh, style.css file so first of all I'm going to highlight this and copy now I'm going to open up notepad plus plus right here now I've got a new file I've actually already called named it style.css saved it as style.css but you'll just cr click on this little icon over on the left if you're using notepad plus plus to open up a new page then I'm going to paste in that section of code from the wordpress.org codex and then you'll want to save it as style.css nothing more nothing less I'm going to go back to the wordpress.org page now the only two lines that are required are the theme name and the template everything else you can leave blank if you want or put in whatever you'd like so let's go back to our file oops I'm gonna go back to wordpress.org to make sure we're doing everything correctly if you want to make a child of a theme with a directory name see if you're using a different uh, theme for instance uh, I had someone that that messaged me that was using the simple catch theme child theme wouldn't work and the only thing they were doing wrong was just uh, putting the wrong name in their child theme so right here we have 2013 we want to change that to 2012 for our child theme and we're going to call this up here oops 2012 child now you can put your themes uh, URL child theme for the 20 this is not necessary but we'll go ahead and put it in there anyway you can leave this blank if you want you can put your name in here I'll put my name in here but the only two that are required are this one right here and this one now like I was saying about the simple catch theme they were typing it in like this and they had to when they finally put a hyphen in there then their child theme works. So you have to put in the correct directory name of your theme if you're using something else besides the 2012 or 2013 theme. You have to make sure you got the name right or else your child theme won't work. Now there's another thing we have to do. The As it says right here, your child theme will overwrite the parent theme style sheet which we took a look at in our WordPress dashboard which means that if you don't have any of the the theme styles in your parent theme style sheet in your child theme then your theme is going your website's going to look pretty much blank so what we need to do is copy this line right here and paste it into our new child theme and what this will do you have to paste it in below the main section and any other change CSS changes you have to type in below this line right here or they won't take effect. What this does as it says import URL so this imports from the main parent themes child theme so that you have some styles in your in your we have to change this to the 2012 if or whatever child whatever theme your name you're using you have to change that right there of course but this imports all the styles so you're It'll just use this, the thought, the styles that are included in your parent theme style.css file, except for the new changes that you type in below this line right here. So I'm going to click save again. And now what we want to do is upload this to our new child theme. So we're going to double click on our 2012 child. I'm going to go up and show you again. 2012 slash hyphen child we're going to double click on this and then we're going to click on this little icon right here that says upload and then we'll navigate to the section where we fa saved our new child style.css theme right here is where I had mine right here we will double click to upload it okay it's complete and now we have a style.css contained in our child theme directory or folder 
All right, so like it says in the WordPress.org codex here, you have to activate your child theme for anything to take effect. So we're going to have to go back to our dashboard, then under Appearance, click on Themes. Now you should have a new theme showing up. Here it is, your 2012 child, and there is my name there. We'll click Activate. Now I'm going to check out our site, reload the tab. Okay, well, we lost our customizations that we did in the to our site background and our header image and even our custom menu, but that's all of this is really easily fixed. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard, hover over appearance. I'm just going to click on appearance, open that up. First thing we'll need to do is reactivate our custom menu that we had. So I'm going to click on menus and WordPress. 3.6, which I recently updated to, is a little different than my uh, my earlier video showed. Easily found, you just under menu settings, I'm going to put a check in the box under theme locations primary menu because we want that as our primary menu. And I'll click save menu, and that should take care of that part. Now I'm going to click on header. I actually tried to upload my header image from my media library and it wasn't taking effect so it might you might have to do the same thing you can try your uh, if you have it in your media library you can just click choose image from media library and do it that way but I am going to click browse and go to the header image in my site files and do it this way because I couldn't seem to make it work the other way then I'm going to click upload again reinstall header and I'll click skip cropping publish image as is okay we've got our header image in there now and I'm going to remove the header text for now and then I'm going to click save changes let's go back to our site and make sure all this took effect okay so we removed the site title the, the menu is back the way it should be and we've got our header now let's just take care of the background again and I had an image for my uh, background. So I'm going to click on Choose Image from Media Library. And I believe it's this one right here, Square BG there. And I'll click Set as Background. That's what you'll have to do. Okay, now I've got that pattern image now again. And I'm going to select the color. If you had some color, the funky color took you a while to find, of course, then you probably saved it somewhere. But I am just going to make it a light blue and click Save Changes. Okay, we've got our background and our menu and our header restored. I'm going to paste one change into our new child theme style.css file. And I'm going to go to theme editor because I have the WP editor plugin. You might just see editor down at the bottom under appearance. Either way, I'll just click on that. I want to oh, come over to the right. You want to select 2012 child and click select. Okay, so now here is our 2012 child theme so far, our style.css file in our 2012 child folder that we have so far. Now I'm going to paste in some code that I had made up already. Okay, now I just, this code I pasted in, the only one you really have to worry about changing is the margin dash top to remove all this space right here. By default, I think it's like 40 or 50 or maybe more, but I'm going to make it 10 to remove a lot of that space that's not needed. And I'm going to click Update File. And go back to our website and click Reload the Tab. And voila, there we go. Got rid of all that wasted space at the top. All right, that is going to take care of video number one. And in the coming videos, of course, we're going to do a lot more customizations and optimizing the content and so forth. So we'll see you in the next video. Please favorite and like this video if you found it helpful. And keep on keeping on.